we're here today with uh, Rocky Riviera. Rocky, um, I know you've taken a lot of classes at the Denver School of Metal Arts. Um, about how long have you been here taking classes with us? It must be, I don't know, three or four years. Um, it goes by fast. Time has gone by fast, and it's been fun. Yeah. What made you uh, choose the Denver School of Metal Arts when you were looking for a place to, to study metalsmithing? Well, I took a couple of classes in college. And Nadja had the supply house back then. And the current school bought Nadja from them. But Nadja, in the past, never had classes. So um, I came across them because they sell supplies, jewelry supplies, and um, now they teach. So it's convenient for you. So having the nausea next door, how do you feel about, you know? Well, that's perfect. Because you have classes and you get your materials right next door and it's all in one place. One-stop shopping. Great. Well, out of the many classes that you've taken, um, I'm pretty sure you've taken some free takes with us. How do you, how do you feel about uh, our free take program that we have here where you can basically take any class space available uh, again uh, for free? Well it's a nice option because sometimes you don't get a chance, to, what you learn in class you need to practice or do more of. You don't always have time to do it. So I've retaken some as a refresher um, to make me remember the things that took place in the class. And then one class I took, um, I needed more practice. I wanted more practice and to ask more questions of the teacher. So it's a nice feature to be able to retake a class. And out of those many classes, I know you've you've worked with a lot of our instructors and a lot of uh, uh, the in master instructors that we have come in for our master classes. And how do you feel about the caliber of instruction that you uh, have taken? You know the teachers here. Well, they're. I do this now, I've taken so many because um, I always wanted to get a master's in fine arts. And so this is my version of trying to get a master's in fine arts. I have a master's degree in engineering. And so this reminds me a lot of engineering to where you have a design and in engineering then you have steps and processes to go to to get to that design. That's the same way here. You have a design in mind. You may have seen something in a magazine or something you like. And you have a design in mind, so now you have well-qualified instructors to teach you the steps to get to that design. And um, the thing I like about engineering and the thing I like about this school is you have something and you get an end result. Um, I guess it's different than the service industry where service is never ending. You just can you get, provide the service. With this, you have a project and you have something completed that you can tangibly see and, and wear. Well, your fields in engineering, I, I know we've seen you create a lot here while you're in class at the school. And so outside of the school, what are you doing with the skills you've learned here? And what do you see yourself um, doing with them in the future? Well, I'm about at the end of my career in engineering. Um, I work for IBM, and it's been a long, uh, full career. And so now, I've always wanted to get, it, like I said before, a master's in fine arts, and so now I can do that. Now I can do, and right now I make it. I make things for friends and family, but I would like to make it not from a mass production, but from an art point of view. A dream, I guess, would be to have a little gallery and show my work, and hope that it's like works of art. Um, kind of a final note, Rocky. If you had someone here, you know, and, um, that had just walked in and was taking a look at the school for the first time, and we could just sit them down in front of you, um, and have you tell them a little bit about the school, um, what comments or you know, what, what would you like to tell someone considering the Denver School of Metal Arts for study? I think if they follow the program, they could make anything. I think if you follow the steps, you get your piece done. If you follow the steps. But the outline, there's safety involved, and so you, it'll be safe. And I would also say that anybody could do it. If you have a design in mind, they'll show you how to get there. Great. Rocky, thank you for being with us today, and uh, we look forward to 
seeing you in the future for, so I know we've got some yeah, master classes I, I, coming I, up. You've been taking a look I at I just so. uh, signed up for two more <laughs> classes that are coming up. Okay. Thank you so much.